Turner was one of the greatest watercolour painters that's ever lived. Why? Because he was a true virtuoso, incredibly skillful, incredibly inventive, and perhaps most importantly, a visionary. He could take work and create highly detailed, topographical, realistic work, or he could push it to much more interesting, shall we say, abstracting, dreamy visions of the same scene. He was amazingly ahead of his time, and for his contemporaries, many thought he'd lost the plot in later years because this work moved away from realism towards abstraction. Now we see this as an incredible breakthrough in painting and it has changed the way that many illustrate landscapes ever after. Now, for those who would love to be able to paint a little bit like Turner or to kind of recreate some of the wonderful methods and style that he has in his art, there is not a lot of very useful information out there. I speak from experience. I looked for books, I tried to read articles, you know, and it's, it's been a little bit limited as to the help that's there. So what I've been doing over the, my time as an artist and as a teacher is spending, you know, spare minutes looking at Turner's methods and at times getting the wonderful experience of actually copying Turner's work in museums. Let's have a look at that one here. This is the painting that I was doing in the Lane Art Gallery, direct from an early Turner. But I haven't just looked at early Turners. I've looked at Turners from all sorts of periods. And now I'd like to show you some of the demonstration pieces that you could explore on studio. So I've been creating some demonstrations over the years for students copying Turners or recreating things in the style of Turner which I think you'll agree are pretty reasonably close in feel and style. Now, the interesting thing is, if you want to paint a little bit like Turner, you've got to forget half of that stuff that we now use, the wet in wet and all that kind of modern way of working. It's so different, incredibly surprising how some of it's done. Let me just show you a bit. Right, let's take a rag. So basically, he doesn't bother with a traditional wet in wet. What he's doing some of the time is actually painting with a rag. He's more like an oil painter in his approach. And when he wants to color it, change it, manipulate it, he's sometimes using the rag to literally express different feels of mood and also the speed of working. He's using it not only as a way of a painting tool, painting the paint on, he's also lifting it off. So there is much to learn on studio. And this is only one tiny aspect of what Turner was doing. I'm gonna show you a whole range of methods. I'm gonna take you through the kind of the realistic Turner towards the abstract Turner. I'm gonna explain the technical ways in which he was applying the paint. And I'm gonna talk about how to think a little bit more like Turner in the work that you create. So if you want to start to make your own Turners, or you want to take a little bit of that knowledge and push it into your own work, because it's going to show you things in watercolor painting that you have not seen before, that you've not experimented with. This is gonna really open your eyes. This is new information for you, I promise. So what's Studio? Studio is a education website that I've created. And the idea of Studio is to explain the detail of working with watercolor. So it's gonna, you know, there's all sorts of different things on there. I'm showing you how to paint like Turner. I'm showing you how to paint like Sargent, uh, another great watercolor painter and really worth exploring. I'm showing you how to paint trees and landscapes. There's live events. It's all sorts of things on there. But if you're interested in Turner, this is the place to go. Studio. And Studio, you can first join 
and see some of the free videos. And then if you want to get the full package, you subscribe. And that's going to give you all of this kind of information purely for the price of a cup of coffee a week. OK, so if you want to join studio and find out loads more about Turner's working methods, then I recommend you take a look at studio. That's www.studio.jasonskill.com. See you there.